Hello YouTube, FSP here, hope y'all are doing well today. I got to do a little bit of a preventive maintenance on my four-wheeler today. I just thought I'd film that. Still kind of hobbling around on the cane, but I can at least get something accomplished today. Uh, starter's been dragging on this four-wheeler. It's time to clean the battery terminals off and sh do a little general checkup of some other things too. You gonna get your big ass down here out of the way somewhere. All right. So yeah, battery's pretty, pretty rough looking. I'll show you all real quick. Y'all see the battery? Let's see. It's hard to see. Yeah. Pretty nasty. Need to take this holder off. Take these off. Give her a good check out. So let me stand y'all's little butts back up over here on the tripod. Sorry for all the shaking around. That's about it. We will find some tools and I'll be back. All right. I got my appropriate socket and quarter inch dry ratchet. That's tight one way to go the other way, fool. Daddy tidy left to Lucy. Hope y'all are doing well today. Had a great live yesterday. Bit of a long one. We got to talking about knives. I'm just gonna put that in my jacket pocket so I don't lose it. Alright. That comes off. Whew, this is getting on brush and just brush this thing off. Where's my brush at? Lay that on the tire. Pardon me. This thing is nasty. I cranked it up this morning and it did crank, but uh, well, I could smell wires. Sometimes you can smell wires when they get really too hot. And I could smell the wires burning. I'm like, well, we got a bad connection here somewhere. So, uh, that's, that, that tells you it's time to do some checking on some things. God, my, there's mud everywhere in this thing. Uh, it's off. I think my battery is, is fine. I will check it with a meter, of course, but uh, I think it's just connection problems. That's one thing dirt will do. It will cause you problems. in here somewhere around that I can't lose. Anyway, we get that one off. Uh, I'm going to sit down on this tire here in a minute. My back hurting. This battery is fairly new. I bought it, I think, last year. It's interstate. Pretty good battery. I'm gonna have to have a screwdriver so I can knock all this mud out of this box and get it, get the battery to come out. Where'd my damn 
clean it. Read it. Ugh. I'll be back. Took some pain meds yesterday and did a little walking without the cane and I can do it. Uh, I'm working this muscle out, whatever tendon. It needs to be worked a little bit. Good lord, the dirt in here. No wonder it ain't nothing worth enough. Uh, let's see if I can get out and focus here because we should get it out of here. Battery in the box are one. Good Lord. Mud is just caked in here. I'm caked in here. Can't separate the damn battery from the box. Uh, this is gonna require some hammering, some beating on. I guess I could do that real quick. No problem. I'll just drop one of my things. Just drop one of my nuts I knew I had in there. Where did it go? Ah, I see it. I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh! Right there, okay. Put that in the jacket pocket. Alright, I'll pause it and we'll be back in a minute. I'm back. Finally got the box and the battery separated. Now I have a mountain of dirt on my workbench. It's okay, it's got to be dealt with. I'm going to spray this battery down a little WD and try to clean it off some. That's what the battery looks like after all the dirt. I I got some little sepsis booger. Set it on this tire. battery where it's at least recognizable uh, maintaining stuff always part of prepping helps a lot to be able to maintain your vehicle whether that be a four-wheeler or a car or a truck whatever it be I'm using WD-40 because I'd rather not waste gun oil or something else I don't really have any brake cleaner or nothing like that, so just something to make the dirt stick to the rag, basically, and all it is. That's really about the only reason I'm using it. Here it goes. Clean my brush. Going by. Always a bunch of planes, wind blowing the doors. Appreciate everybody that came by the live yesterday. I had an awesome live stream. Or, uh, not that it was really awesome, but I, I really enjoyed it. We had a good time talking about all kinds of stuff over there, knives. And 
Two sour count, yep. Yeah. It looks like a battery now, y'all. For the most part. Can y'all see that? We're gonna hit these uh, metal lugs with a wire brush. Probably use one on my drill. There's the uh, box. I'm not worried about the box so much as being dirty, but uh, it was full. It was crammed full of mud to the point where I couldn't even get the battery out. So. That was bad. That needed to be remedied, you know, as far as getting all the caked up mud out of there. <sighs> oh, that hurts a lot. Damn it. So, I'm going to hit these lugs with a wire brush. And probably hit these screws with a wire brush too, and I'll be back. It's definitely better. Y'all can see that. I might be too close. Set this grill down. So there's what the battery looks like now. Definitely looks better. Alright, we gotta get this box back in here. The bottom of my battery box ain't looking so great. <laughs> I may have to cut me another one out of a piece of wood soon. We're going to stick it back in there for now. <sighs> All right. Here we go. You got to get back down in there, Bertha. That's good. Okay, let's look at our posts. Ooh, these are going to need to be hit. Love my brush yet. This post needs to be hit as well. Get out of the way, Kane. Perfect, but it's better. Perfect, but it's way better than it was. Right over there. Okay. Ah. Red positive. that on the bus. Uh, let's see. A little squared off a little uh, thing that the bolt screws into has got to go in first. Come 
them on first. If I can get the battery back out of the box. Sometimes I just have to get it where I can see it, y'all. positive table here. That was for the battery holder. This one's for the table. Get this ratchet ready. Righty tatty. Sometimes you gotta do it with your fingers first to get it right. square nut in here. Possibly, maybe. It only go in one way. I see now. It can only go in one way. It's dummy proof. So you can't do it wrong. I like it when it's dummy proof, y'all. I like it when they dummy proof it for me. Because I'm a big dummy. Now, oh, come on. Tighten up on me now. What's the problem? Never know. 
throw something stuck to there until you start brushing. There's a little rubber spacer on there. It keeps the keeps the metal off the battery. That's what that is. The little rubber spacer come off. Didn't even know it was on there until I knocked all the dirt off. <clears throat> That goes over there like that. This goes over here like this. There's my ratchet. Come here, boy. Definitely better. It's got to be better. <sighs> this shed's just barely big enough for me and working on something. I'll give you all a little view of the battery box now as opposed to the way it was when we started. Don't that look a lot better? <laughs> All right, let's start this baby up and see if that solves our issue. Make sure we got you in the shot there. Let me have my cane back. Put this rubber piece back over this thing here. The way it's supposed to be. That way nothing gets arced out. Should be enough turn the gas on just to check sort of really. Key on. That's way better than it was to it. That's way, way better. Alright. Let me go over here and see how long this video is. Good God. It feels like it's a long one. 22 minutes, yeah. Well, I'm going to slap that back cover back on and call her done. Appreciate y'all watching. This is FSP. Do the things even when you're half crippled.